Senator St. Nicholas. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I very much appreciated the um, uh, testimony of Mr. Tedinko that included the um, uh, add-ons above and beyond just the lease payments, um, getting the connectivity to PD Middle School, and um, rebuilding the basketball court I think will be uh, really good corporate gestures. Um, I just wanted to ask, I know that we did not write that into the bill, that those are going to be requirements of the transaction. And so we're kind of, I guess, putting it into the hands of the, the mayor and the municipal planning council that they're going to handle that on the lease side. Um, so just noting that for the record, that we're not putting that into the mandate. Uh, so you'll just have to make sure it's in the lease. Um, okay, so, so this part um, across Marine Drive now, this is a basketball court currently. It's the one that was built by MEC. And you... But the, the, um, the items you said earlier, such as, um, yeah, you're going to build another court or multi-purpose court someplace, um, are those in writing anywhere? What we're doing right now is we're getting the authorization from the legislature vis-a-vis -vis this bill. And aside from just the fair market value lease, which is articulated here with the other terms and conditions, we already disclosed to the mayor in addition to the rental payments that we would otherwise, I mean, that we'd be giving to the community, we would additionally move, of course, the, um, the basketball court, relocate it, reconstruct it, maintain it. They'll be all in the lease um, agreement once the, uh, it's all finished between the Municipal Planning Council and GTA and also with the imprimatur and review of the Attorney General's office. I'm sure he'll be the first one to tell you that we didn't live up to our agreement if we if that's the concern you know well I'm concerned about how they are able to enforce that type of an agreement right if that yeah what that it should be in writing it should be part of the negotiations I, I feel like the mayor should be free to actually negotiate sure. um, much more than just the fair market value of this land and